This is a big deal. Federal Ways Mayor was here with roughly 300 people to open a building which will serve a growing need. I moved here for a better future for myself. Vanessa and Luis just moved to Federal Way because of the affordability. And we just, like the food, we like that everything oh, is close oh, yes, to that's true. cheaper also. The young couple who work in Seattle also say they have bigger aspirations and don't want to move to the big city to take that next step. I don't really like traffic and I've been working in Seattle like for six years. They are emblematic of a growing trend. 56% of Latinos in King County now live in South County. And the reality is that there is not um, you know, a, an array of culturally appropriate services. Estela Ortega is the executive director of El Centro de la Raza who today could not stop smiling as the iconic nonprofit opened a new branch to serve as a hub for the Latino community. The lack of affordable housing that there is in the city of Seattle has pushed people out of the city, not only for Latinos, but other people of color. It will offer bilingual workforce training, tax services, and many of the same cultural programs as it does at its Seattle headquarters working to fulfill the needs of a shifting population. We start studying Excel. We're working with Excel, PowerPoint, um, software, Internet, and it is very helpful. A group that now includes two people with big goals who now feel they are within closer reach. Change part of my life. Of course, the original location on Seattle's Beacon Hill has done Tremendous work in that community for several decades now. As far as this facility, it will be open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6 with evening workshops as well. That's the story for now. In Federal Way, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.